what I know I've been putting in me last night. I hope to God I don't have to go to no more weddings now for another couple of years. I had enough of that, right? I feels like I've been hit by a dump truck now today. And I only have one drink in me because I had to babysit the rest of them. Sure, I'd say they'd be getting married to somebody else now another couple of years anyway. I don't think that's going to last between two of them. Sure, they were fighting even before they went to the reception. She was complaining that body wasn't walking fast enough to know. Well, I think I gotta get Vera a call, you know, to see how she made out. The husband picked us up, see? Because he wasn't allowed to be invited because they only wanted one person per invitation. So he picked us up last night, dropped Vera off right to the door, and I even walked up to the door with her, made sure she got in the house because she wasn't feed. Yep. What do you want? Vera, mate, how you getting out of there? You feeling all right or what? Yes, I'm all right. What's wrong with me? Well, I don't know. I figured you'd be sick now today. You're still in the bed by the sound of it. Yes, I feels a little bit sick now today that you said it, but it had not to do with what I was drinking. It had to do with something in that food, I think. That wasn't fit to eat. Yeah, well, I know the food wasn't fit to eat, but I don't take anything to do with the way you're feeling now this morning. Sure, the entire night, Vera, that you never spent a cent on a bit of booze. You got everything for free. What are you talking about for free? I took a hundred dollars with me. I never got nothing for free, my darling. I'm going to check my purse now. Because that's here with me. Oh. I still got me a hundred dollars. How did I manage to get stuff for free? Well, I tell you now, you know that flask that you had on you? You had that emptied out, my darling, before you left the ceremony. Then when you got to the reception... You said, I'm going to keep an eye out now and see who's going to get drunk. And then every time somebody went up to the bar to get a drink and come back to the table, as soon as they turned their head, you took it on them and then you put it in your flask. Before you noticed that you were going around from table to table, my darling, you had a full flask on you. I'd say by the time the night was out, you must have had that thing filled up about five times. And nobody was none the wiser because you made sure they were drunk enough that whenever they went up and got a glass and came back to the table and then you emptied it out, they thought that they forgot their glass on another table then. So here you are going around drinking everybody's booze. Well, that's all right then. If they got the money to pay for it, I got them out to drink it. <sighs> My nerves heaven above. What was that? Nothing, Vera. Go back to sleep in a bit. I'll talk to you later on.